We're now going to demonstrate how to replace the IC on the high voltage power supply board. We have your 406 on the top. We're going to remove that first. There's two screws on each side. On the other side, also two screws. Place them aside. Remove the top cover. Next we're going to remove the bottom cover. Two screws on each side. Also, we have the two front feet to remove. You can leave the bottom back two feet off on. I'm going to lift the 406 out of the bottom cover. Next, we're going to remove this front panel, partially remove it. So first we have to remove some cables. On the top, we're going to remove these cables. This is the meter cable. You're going to disconnect that. Then we're going to remove the display cable. Carefully remove the display cable. Then we're going to remove the other meter cable. Also on the bottom we're going to remove two cables. One Two. Notice how I go back and forth. It makes it easier for the cables to come off. Next we're going to remove the front panel by removing the four screws. Now we can turn the front panel on its side carefully because there's still some cables connected. Now the high voltage power supply board is exposed. Now you may have a different version of the high voltage power supply board, but they all have this IC and that's the one we're going to remove. Once you remove the IC, we're going to replace it. So I'm going to use the same IC for this video, but you're going to remember you're going to replace this IC. Now I want to point out the orientation of this IC. Notice pin 1 normally is indicated by a circle or the top is indicated by this notch or sometimes there's a line. On this IC, there's all three which means pin 1 is in the upper left hand corner. So that's the way this IC is going to go into the board. Pin 1 is on the upper left hand corner. Before you insert it, make sure all the legs are right over the socket so it goes in smoothly. Make sure none of the legs are sticking out or bent under. Now we're going to replace the front panel carefully turn them down again 
careful of your cables. Now you're going to plug the cables back in. The meter cable. Now when you plug these cables back in, especially this long cable, you want to make sure that there is no pins that are bent. So you don't want to force it in. You want to kind of make sure there's no pin sticking out. And you want to kind of make sure it goes down nice and firm on both sides and in the middle. And just check it to make sure there are no pins sticking out or bent. Next we're going to plug in the other meter cable. Again, these uh, cables are keyed, so they can, they can only go on one way. So just be careful as you put them on. So next, before we put on the bottom two cables, I just want to put some screws in the front panel so that it won't fall all over the place. So I'm going to start with the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to line it up. Other side. Line it up carefully. If it doesn't go on easy, then it's probably not in correctly. So you want to make sure it goes in nice and smooth. Once you get those upper ones started, now I can get the bottom one started. You kind of might have to lift up the when you're putting these front panel on, make sure there's no cables that are pinched behind the front panel. So you can make them all nice and tight now. Now we're going to put on the bottom two cables. You do not want to forget to plug these cables in. So the bottom one goes to the bottom socket. Again, make sure, see that one's not lined up, I'm going to make sure it's lined up. Okay, now it's lined up, no pin sticking out. The upper one goes to the upper socket. Okay, make sure the cables are not going to get pinched. Turning the unit back over, I'm going to first put on the bottom cover. Lift up your unit. line up they should go on nice and smooth. Now I'm just going to put these in a little bit loose and then we're going to tighten them in when we get all the feet on. So a little bit loose on the right. Make sure they're lined up on the left. Okay they're a little bit loose now but I want to put on the bottom feet. plugged into the power. We don't want any power when we're doing this replacement. 